I've been noticing something, guys. Hold the drizzle, drizzle line, guys. The modern women are about to blow up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. Drizzle, drizzle. drizzle. Do you know what I find insane? Everybody keeps asking me what I think about the drizzle drizzle uh, movement. I'm all for it. I literally talk about men's mental health all the time. I'm always on men's side. You women that are getting upset at this soft guy era drizzle drizzle, what are you mad about? Y'all had your fun with I hate men movement, the Me Too movement, sprinkle sprinkle and all this stuff. And that sprinkle sprinkle lady, that hyena lady or whatever that talks like this, she literally encourages you guys to take men's money. The soft guy movement is just about men getting treated right, getting loved and cherished as well. If you get mad at that, Something's wrong with your head. It's freaking hilarious. A lot of it is parody, but people, women and other people are taking it really seriously. And while I think the message behind it is serious, the fact that people aren't getting it is the funniest thing. So, backstory. Drizzle Drizzle is response to Sprinkle Sprinkle. And Sprinkle Sprinkle is women that think that, you know, guys are supposed to buy them everything and pay for everything and they're supposed to live the soft life. So now these guys have come out with Drizzle Drizzle. Look at some of these videos. She don't pick up the bill and she said, oh, you're not gonna pay for it? I said, what? Drizzle, drizzle, I'm not gonna pay for anything. Um, that's giving me a ick. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you're, you should be paying for the bill. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I got ready, like my suit cost like thousands of dollars. And if you're not aware, this is literally what women say. They're like, no, a man should be paying for my dinner because um, my skincare costs like $500. And I bought this dress to look good, so you should pay for it. And so men, being fed up with it, have decided to counteract it in their own way by entering their soft guy era and being drizzle drizzle kings. Here's another one. Y'all want girls to pay for stuff. And honestly, bro, you type of dudes, bro, is damn right. It's about time. Personally, if you ask me, it couldn't have been said better. I'm, I'm just relieved to know that it ain't just me. You want to come here asking me what I got to offer, what I bring to the table, baby. I am the table. Remember, fellas, you're the prize. Drizzle, drizzle. And they're obviously commenting all of that because that is what women comment under these types of videos. Again, with total seriousness. The fact that people aren't getting it is the funniest thing. It's funny how you guys get mad at Scarface Mark, Goody, and all of them for starting this uh, soft guy era. Why? You guys started the sprinkle sprinkle BS and now that you get the, a taste of your own medicine, oh, now it's stop. Now it's these men are sassy. What do you think the men thought of you guys when you were saying this the whole time? Drizzle drizzle is response to sprinkle sprinkle. And sprinkle sprinkle is women that think that, you know, guys are supposed to buy them everything and pay for everything and they're supposed to live the soft life. So now these guys have come out with drizzle drizzle which is saying that guys should live the soft life. And of course, all of this is satire. The men's videos, it is satire. The people actually got pressed about this. One woman commented and said, man, you ain't what you think, fizzle, fizzle. And then take a look at these videos because again, women did not like this. You drizzle, drizzle men are actually being dead serious. You're not making a mockery of any sprinkle, sprinkle gals. You're simply projecting. We don't seek men, the men seek us. And we pick and choose which man is worthy of being with us. And we specifically choose the men who are willing to provide. They're about to learn rule number one of capitalism. In order to negotiate, you have to bring value. And in order to strike, you have to be able to take something away from the person that you're trying to strike against. What are you going to withhold from women in any meaningful way that is going to force us to meet your conditions and demands? What will it be? Go ahead. What will it be? On a gloomy afternoon, a small town was surrounded by thick gray clouds and constant drizzle. A group of women stood out among the hurried pedestrians, their frustration palpable and their faces etched with annoyance as the persistent rain dampened their spirits and clothing. All right, ladies, the men have decided if you can't beat them, join them. So drizzle, drizzle to your sprinkle, sprinkle, okay? At the end of the day, you told men that they were toxic just for being men. You told men that strength and macho behavior and all the rest of the things that come along with being a man, those things are all bad. Put them away, okay? Women want the precise treatment and the soft gay era. It become a trend and it become a movement. And then come the trend, men going their own way. Later on, women establish their own movement, which is the 4B movement, popularly known as women going 
their own way to be honest with you guys this movement is becoming interesting now men come out again to say we are princes and we want to be treated as one men just come out to say that they are now in their soft guy era and to be honest with you guys guys keep it up here are three reasons why some ladies are so upset with the drizzle drizzle movement in the soft guy era number one some ladies depend on these men for financial support. Oh, yes, yes, yes. See, what a lot of ladies don't tell you is that they need other men's paychecks and other men's financial support just to make their monthly expenses. See, they don't tell you guys that. You just see the aftermath of someone sliding them the money, but they don't show you how they got it. So the next iteration of the drizzle, drizzle, soft guy era is turning off the tap, turning off the money. Ladies know that. They're smart. So if the money turns off, their bills go kaput. Number two, a lot of ladies don't want to face the reality of how silly they've sounded for years and years with these outrageous preferences. You're holding up a mirror. They're not liking what they see in the mirror. They're not liking that they look wild because the things that we're saying are only the things that they've been saying. And they don't like it. They feel hurt by it. So they don't want to say, man, we need to change. We need to hold ourselves accountable so they get upset. And number three, because this movement is worldwide, it's not a small clutch of men or men of color, or men in the United States. It's worldwide. You got cats in the UK, cats in France, cats in Australia. This thing is going worldwide. And that shows you that things have gotten out of hand. Now, ladies, if y'all want to send a few of y'all representatives to sit down at the table with some of our representatives and see how we can achieve balance back in dating, so be it. If not, let the drizzle continue. Soft guy era continues. I was going to tell the 4G pill bros that drizzle drizzle doesn't make sense. Look, if you're broke, just say that. But no, in all seriousness, ladies, you recognize there's no way you can win this, right? There are two very specific reasons why this is impossible for you to win. Why it's impossible for you to defeat the soft guy era. Why you will never defeat drizzle drizzle. First being that the guys are just using your own arguments. Y'all have had some real fucking doozies. So these guys have unlimited ammo. Like they have an endless supply of shit to say to you. And the second reason is because they're using your own arguments, anytime you do defeat something they say, you're defeating your own argument. You're defeating yourself. One of the best parts about this is that y'all are getting so fucking upset. And the men are just having the time of their lives. Do you understand how much fun men are having with this? Not just fun doing it, but having even more fun watching all y'all melt down. Watching all of y'all lose your fucking mind because a man has given you back that same energy. And they're not offended when you call them soft. Hell, they started this whole thing by calling themselves that. The best part is when you try to insult them, when you try to talk shit about them and make them feel bad about it, they are literally coming back at you with exactly what you said, word for word. Ladies, you have literally already said all the arguments that men will ever need to defeat you. You gave them everything they needed, and now they're using it. I'm sorry to say, ladies, but the soft guy era is impossible to defeat. Drizzle, drizzle. Mary, Lisa, and Jane were all in awe of the relentless rain that was dripping into their clothes and dampening their day. The women exchanged exasperated glances as each droplet landed on them, and their frustration grew as they huddled together under a nearby cafe awning. The absurdity of their shared predicament was too much to bear with a straight face, but they found a moment of camaraderie in the dreary weather. The shared experience of braving the wet, dreary weather lifted their spirits slightly. The women's frustration and shared experience of the weather made them laugh and appreciate the comfort they had left behind at home. Actually hilarious is the amount of women that are outraged by this soft guy era because basically these men are flipping the roles on them and they realize how ridiculous and unrealistic it sounds when a man says it, but then when they say it, it's not ridiculous. 
Like, some women have even gone as far as to call these men gay and act really homophobic towards them for simply asking for what they're asking for. And what I get from it, even if it is a joke, jokes aside, it's about reciprocation and it's showing how many women expect it automatically because their inflated egos are telling them that they deserve it no matter what without any reciprocation. And I don't know about you guys, but any relationship that you're in deserves appreciation, reciprocation, and I think a lot of you guys need to go back to kindergarten where we learn to treat others how you want to be treated. Because if you don't want to be used, then don't use people. If you don't want to be looked at as a paycheck, don't be a gold digger. If you want respect, you have to give respect. If you want someone to be compassionate and considerate, you have to be compassionate and considerate. And yes, this absolutely goes both ways. So the fact that so many women are showing the fact that they'll never reciprocate the same energy, this explains why so many men are out here, just match my energy, match my energy and I'll match yours. And the problem is it's not happening. It's the same way that so many women will come online and bash men and talk shit about men and, and talk about their first dates being awful. But the moment that my platform or other women like me call out toxic behaviors, it's a problem. So y'all can talk shit about men and their toxic behaviors, but when women call you out on your own toxic behaviors, it's different. Anyways, drizzle drizzle, kings. A group of women met to discuss their dating standards which included being at least six feet tall, earning a six-figure income, paying for dates, and covering their bills. They believed in their high standards without compromise. However, when men began to voice similar expectations or call out manipulation, the women took offense. They organized a strike by crafting emotional narratives to garner sympathy from the public they portrayed themselves as victims of unfair expectations and mistreated by men who dared to have their own desires. The underlying truth was clear. The double standards were evident. While they demanded perfection without considering the implications, they were unwilling to meet the same expectations. A gentler era emerged in response to these rigid standards, offering a fresh perspective on mutual respect and genuine connections in modern dating dynamics the new era uh if you don't know what the soft guy era is or you just simply hate the soft guy era this video is for you shout out to my fellow mark mark pillard for dropping a slideshow on instagram explaining what this is so if you didn't know me and my brother goody started the soft guy era a few weeks ago and it's going viral we have been wreaking havoc on the internet and so have the rest of y'all. We love the support. Keep dropping y'all videos. Let's keep making them mad. So now we're going into detail on what this is. The idea. Men in their soft guy era want to find high value women who can take care of them in ridiculous ways. Yes, we do. They want us to have money. I want my woman to have money as well. It's only right. Drizzle, drizzle. The soft guy era is a response to the soft girl era of 2023. It mocks videos in which women demand ridiculous things from men. It twists a mnemonic device from YouTuber Letitia Pude, a.k.a. the Sprinkle Sprinkle Lady. It's a supervision of alpha male content. And then here's the kicker, and this is what they don't like. The four points. Women say they want equality, but then some demand the most unequal situations from men. And this includes men paying all the bills but the woman is making money as well but she doesn't want to come out of pocket because she's a woman right doesn't make sense that doesn't sound equal to me now we're going to go down to insight if men acted like this they'd be laughed out the room see now when women are hearing these things they're like oh this is ridiculous no way you want a mom you want you want a parent you want to you want a man no we just want what you guys want from us in return now on to the advantage Men believe they bring a lot to the table, so maybe they are now the table. See, a lot of men don't realize they are the table. If a man is paying all the bills, sir, you are the table. You're providing for a woman and your children. You are the table. But a lot of men don't realize who they are. So they really don't know they've been manipulated into living old-fashioned ways. That shit is over and it's dead. These women get money now. It's time to spend that money now and contribute and work as a team. Eve was made to be a helpmate to Adam. Let's not play. Now the strategy. Show how outrageous it is when men demand to be provided for in the same equality. 
We all know being a provider in 2024 is a scam, so we don't care. So we're not doing that anymore. We know that's old fashioned. These women got money. These women are working, so they need to contribute. We want a helpmate. Uh, aims to teach women about appreciating and valuing men's contributions, emphasizing mutual respect and gratitude. It aims to shift from unrealistic expectations to a more balanced approach to dating and relationships. Women are encouraged to recognize reciprocity and not take for granted their partner's efforts, fostering healthier, more fulfilling relationships. This softer era emphasizes genuine connections, understanding, and empathy, moving away from manipulative tactics and unrealistic demands. It promotes a culture of appreciation, seeing partners as equals and deserving of the same consideration and respect they seek for themselves. This concludes our A4 anonymous coverage for the day. Click that like button, please. Make sure you hit that notification bell in addition to subscribing. Leave a comment telling us what you think. Have a great day tomorrow.